Hello gamers and welcome back to the Armbar Arcade. I'm Ney and today we're going to be checking out Road Rash 2 for the Mega Drive. Uh, I played Road Rash 1 last week and it reminded me how good the series is so I thought why not do another one this week. So we're going to start a race in Alaska and immediately we can see that the graphics haven't really improved too much in the last game. But there is a new system whereby we earn cash and get upgrades and new weapons and improve our bike to stay competitive so we've already got this baton that's uh, far faster than we had it in the first game and we're coming up on Leslie hopefully we'll be able to hit him with this baton well sort of we nearly got him so we got some new music for this game sounded a little bit happier than the other game kind of 12 bar bluesy feel this time rather than uh, electronic rock that we had in Road Rash 1 so Viper's back from the last game, trying to overtake us. We're not going to allow that. See you later, Viper. <laughs> the bike's just carrying on without him. So the racer coming up is called PE Number One. Um, he's obviously the number one at PE, um, which is cool, you know. There's no, he's got a chain. He's got a chain. Oh dear. Um, so not only is he the number one at PE, he's the number one at offensive weapons. Once again, we have to run down the road to get our bike, which is kind of delaying us, I guess. Got some sort of mountain in the background in Alaska. Get on, get on. We need to chase PE number one. He's now our mortal enemy. So we can see there's some returning racers from the last game. Slater was definitely in it. See if we can find Biff and the other crew. We've still got a baton, but I quite like that chain. That's a new weapon for this game. There's a moose in the road. There's a moose in the road. And a tent. Someone's camping on the edge of the... Ah, P number one. Get off. I think we'll just leave P number one alone. He's definitely the number one at PE. That is undisputed. I'm not going to try and take that from him, nor should you, really. He's got a chain. Here we go. The police are here. Oh. That's a tree. We were doing so well until we went into a tree. There's the get on, get on. Don't have time to be messing around. Why hey! Now that is higher than we ever got in Road Rash 1. That's higher than is physically possible, but uh, we seem to have managed it there whilst assaulting the police and avoiding that car. We're doing well. So the races in this game seem a little bit longer than the first. Gone about, oh, and as I say that, we finish in fifth. So, yeah, maybe they're about the same. We're dropping, oh, our, our, bike, our bike's fallen apart. Um, we should probably fix that. P number one says, when I'm tearing up the track, I'm all trance and scream. What does this mean? One thing I will say is that Road Rash 2 isn't that much of an update on Road Rash 1. I guess it's just building on the kind of racing and oh, violence of the first game. Uh, the tracks aren't all that different. Just like the first game, it's kind of there's some greenery at the sides and you just have to race through it. I would have thought Hawaii would be kind of different to this, I guess. There's trees, but I don't, there's volcanoes and stuff in Hawaii, I guess, in the background. I've always thought of it as the Hawaii you see on uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter, you know, everyone's going Dakine and nah bro, nah bro, but we'll see. There's Viper again, into third place, oi. P number one, uh, mortal enemy. As he lost his chain, he wasn't trying to whip us with it this time. And who's in first? Loss, ah, a car. A car is in first. Now, there's someone called Lawson, so uh, they're our new rival if we can avoid cars this time. Oh, no! Nah, we got punted into a moose! Oh, no, the bike is... Yeah, I was going to say, the bike is several miles away, so please just arrest me. I don't... I'm not running back all the way there. That said, I didn't really want to get arrested, so... Yeah, we've been detained. Wow. That's a retry. We are back on track. We're in fourth place. We're coming up on Viper. We've got about a mile left, I'd assume, if I can judge by the length of the other races. Oh, Viper! Viper, why would you do this? I'm coming through for my revenge on Viper here. 
I really need to show show them a lesson. Plus, I think we're nearing the finish and we're battling for first here. Come on, we can... No! No! So, fifth place for us after we were pushed into several vehicles. Disappointing because we could have won, but our bike, once again, is sort of falling apart, so... It is what it is. So we got $100 for our finish there. We're looking for a first place here. We really need to upgrade our bike a little bit so we can uh, be more competitive in the later races. Racing through Tennessee this time, which looks basically the same as everything else, but with a little bit more of a country feel to it. I mean, the game feels a little bit smoother than the first game, but there's not a lot else that's been improved. Like, some of the racer names are the same. Obviously the progression system's a little bit better, but I don't know, I'm not feeling the uh, gameplay improvements here. I'm gonna battle it out with Viper. They ruined our race last time, so I can't let them live. And we are flying once again. That's a new thing, motorbikes fly in uh, Road Rash 2 compared to Road Rash 1. Not a lot of flying in Road Rash 1, I will admit that was different. Ah! Just clipped the car. I was really just trying to come through on the... Oh, oh, okay, okay, yeah, no, just pick on me while I'm down. That's great. Just try and run over a helpless motorcyclist. I think any hope of doing well in this game is just going down the pan very quickly. Go away, Viper. Get off. Oh, we've got a chain. We've got a chain. We've, we've... Okay, we've got to be careful here. Okay, we're back. We're back in the game. We've got a chain. Everything's going well. This is my favourite race so far. <laughs> I only sing when I'm winning. That's it. Oh, the chain does so much damage. It's off the chain. It is the chain. Get off, Lawson. No, 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 no. No, I could see that coming. I just couldn't do anything about it. I took my finger off the accelerator, but it wasn't enough. Way and there, his, his bike's still racing us. Well, he'll, he'll have to run away down the road to uh, collect that as we come through for the finish in third this time. It's time for Arizona. Now, this is different. This is nice and deserty. It does look like Arizona, I'll give them that. This is one level they've done well with the design of. There's Viper again, one of our mortal enemies. Good to get rid of them early, and they had a chain, very nice. I think we can definitely do some damage with this in the later places. Our goal here is not to fall off our bike. If we can just stay on our bike for an entire level, we'll probably win. I think that is the challenge, is staying on your bike rather than actually racing, which I guess is a pro and a con of this game. Like, it's kind of hard to stay on your bike sometimes with everyone against you, but at the same time, it's not so much a racing game as a survival game, which it should be. It's kind of like the biking survival racer. There we go. There goes Natasha with a... I mean, the voice clip wasn't really appropriate for Natasha. It was more of a... Ugh, but whatever. And for the first time in this video, we are in first place. He might have taken our chain, though. Someone's taken our chain. No matter. We've got a baton now, and Lawson's nowhere to be seen, so we've got about a mile left of just driving, but we should win this time. Maybe we'll afford a new bike, who knows? Another criticism of this game is the fact that it's kind of boring when you're in first place, like you're out ahead so far that there's no one to push off their bikes, there's no competition, there's not even any police, you're just on your own racing through Arizona, which is fine, I mean it's enjoyable as we come through to win. Hopefully we'll get some money. So we're going to upgrade now to the Panda 500. This bad boy is ours. See if it does us any good. It's looking your tunnel in Vermont as we take off for one of the races in this series. I think it makes you redo the ones you didn't do so well in because we need kind of like a third place or better, I think, to qualify. But we're going to check out this bike and then we're probably going to call it a day for Road Rash 2 because this is basically all there is to the gameplay. I mean, you go through... The next few levels, you upgrade your bike, the difficulty gets a bit harder, but it's essentially this all the way through. It's a good game, it's enjoyable, like I say, in short bursts, you know, you can come back to it every now and then. 
and it's a good sequel. It's a very similar sequel. Uh, I can't think of a s sequel that was less similar than this. Maybe some of the FIFA games didn't change too much. Other than that, this is probably the most similar sequel to a game I can think Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, well, at least the bike's sliding with us, I guess. It's a small mercy. Otherwise, we'd have had to run about seven miles back down the road just to collect it. Another criticism of this game, if you come over a hill and there's a car on the side you're on, you're just inevitably going to crash into it. There's no real chance to move out of its way. I mean, in the modern days, we'd have like a QTE or something, but I don't know. There's there's no right way to remedy it in a fast-paced race. It's just kind of irritating that you can't judge where cars are going to be over a hill. Like anywhere else, you can see, but the way the road scrolls towards you, it just promotes crashing into stuff, really, that's coming towards you. So the lesson is stay on the right side of the road as we um, fly high into the air there. Music's still pretty banging. Uh, the tracks have been alright throughout this game. I think I preferred the first game's music, if I'm honest, but both games have had reasonable soundtracks. That was a cow. It protested, but it shouldn't have been lying in the road. That's what I say. There we go, we got a chain. Ready to take down P number one, our mortal enemy, and come through for our second win of this video. Come on. Come on. We've both been hit. We're both down. Two men down. Viper's probably going to come through and take this off us, I would have thought. Just lash the chain out at him just in case it'll help. Yeah, I think we're going to end up with sec third place here. Okay, somebody else went by. There we go. Third place. Um, disappointing. But that is the end of this video, so... If you like this video give a like, if you're new here in the Armbar Arcade subscribe and leave in the comments the most similar sequels that you can think of to games like What Didn't Change and I'll see you next time on the Armbar Arcade.